I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer for Marin County with a public health update for June 23rd. Last week, the FDA revealed their plans for a fall COVID-19 vaccine. I'm going to summarize their recommendation, what it means for us in Marin. First, just to remind us of the process of how vaccines roll out. In the U.S., there are two main agencies responsible, the FDA and the CDC. Both have expert panels dedicated to vaccines that review the data, discuss and debate, and take a vote on any recommendations. Broadly speaking, the FDA is more about safety and efficacy, and the CDC panel determines which groups should be prioritized and other clinical factors. Last week, the FDA panel was unanimous in recommending a fall booster, and Pfizer, Moderna, and Novavax have a green light to begin manufacturing millions of doses for the fall. The CDC advisory group is meeting today to review the data and determine which groups should be prioritized in any other clinical recommendations. The FDA recommendation includes some important differences from the current vaccine. The first is that we go back to a monovalent vaccine. Remember, monovalent means the vaccine will focus on one strain, as opposed to the current bivalent vaccine, which covers both Omicron subvariants and the original strain. The fall shot will target the currently circulating XBB strain. XBB is also an Omicron subvariant and is actually a family of closely related siblings. In Marin, our surveillance system confirms that XBB is the dominant strain here. Our ongoing surveillance is available on our website and we will continue to monitor this. The federal recommendation for an XBB focused vaccine for the fall echoes the recommendation of the World Health Organization one month ago and the European CDC two weeks ago. So it's reassuring to see international consensus based on data that XBB makes up more than 90% of actively circulating strains globally. So stepping back, what does this mean for us in Marin in the fall? First, it means we'll have another opportunity to gain protection against COVID-19. We know the immunity from vaccines or infection wears down, especially for older residents or those with weakened immune systems. These groups are the most vulnerable and the highest priority for vaccines and boosters. It's good news that our COVID-19 vaccine will be modernized and streamlined to better match what will very likely be the active strain in the fall. Also, fall and winter bring new risk for respiratory illness. Remember, the triple-demic last winter of COVID-19 flu, and RSV. It's exciting to note with the development of a new RSV vaccine just a few weeks ago, all three of these viruses are now vaccine preventable. When we discuss vaccines and their rollout of new options, my hope is that we can connect the dots between the two ways Marin has been an outlier in the pandemic so far. One is in very high vaccine uptake and the other is in low hospitalizations and deaths. At a very simple level, the immunity we gained together through vaccinations has limited the damage of the pandemic. I wanna share one piece of really encouraging news regarding vaccinations in Marin. We recently got the data for our childhood vaccination rates for kids coming into kindergarten for all vaccine preventable diseases. I look at this data closely because historically Marin has had some of the lowest rates in the state, which left us vulnerable to preventable outbreaks. In fact, 10 years ago, we had the highest rates of whooping cough or pertussis in the state. We're working with our schools and pediatricians to change the culture around vaccines. And this year, county childhood vaccination rates are the highest they've ever been, with 97% of incoming kindergartners fully vaccinated. Through our own experience with COVID, the message that vaccines protect us seems to have hit home in new ways. We know those higher kindergarten vaccine rates will mean fewer sick children and fewer outbreaks across a range of preventable diseases. Come fall, pharmacies and healthcare providers across Marin will be offering the fall COVID booster, along with flu and RSV shots for those who are eligible. We'll continue to offer updates on timing and eligibility when that information becomes available. Thank you for doing your part.